Hey guys, welcome to this webinar. My name is Nathan McCullough and I am an integrative nutritionist and a holistic health coach from America. I have been living in Indonesia for the last four years and I got started in USANA actually uh, about, five, about five years ago. So um, if, you, if you are here today on this webinar or you're receiving this recording from someone, that means that you have expressed some interest in learning how to use the USANA vehicle as uh, something that you can use to achieve your financial or your contribution goals, um, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to create for yourself. So welcome, welcome to this presentation. Uh, what I'll do is I'll share a little bit with you about myself and um, how I've been using USANA to help me achieve my uh, financial location and time freedom over the last uh, five years. And um, you know, I'll share a little bit with you on how I was able to do that and how I got introduced to USANA and how I've been able to use this vehicle. So I am, um, along with being an integrative nutritionist and the health coach, I am the <clears throat> founder and head coach for uh, Rising Phoenix Wellness, which is uh, an online uh, health coaching platform and also one of the co-founders of a lifestyle brand called Glamour and Purpose. So if you look us up on Instagram or you look us up on our podcast, the website, um, we've been successfully um, guiding people through 28 day and longer um, holistic wellness programs to help them lose weight, get more energy, um, feel good about themselves, um, all of that good stuff when it comes to health and wellness, really helping people to optimize their health in whatever way is important to them. So that's really my, <clears throat> my purpose driven life is to empower and enable as many individuals and entrepreneurs as I can to help um, optimize their, their life in health, wealth, and happiness. So um, just a little bit of a background. Um, I've been, uh, I started a franchise of wellness clinics in New Zealand in 2009. So I'm originally from the US. Um, went to graduate school, started a PhD program in 2008, and when the economy took a dive in America, um, I had to really look at what I wanted to do for myself in my future. I was on, a, I was on basically a full ride, which means a, a complete scholarship um, for a PhD program in the U.S., and when the economy went down, I was faced with the situation where all of my funding was taken away and I was going to have to look at the possibility of um, taking out an extra 30 or 40,000 US dollars a year in loans. And if you add that up over, you know, four years or so for the PhD program, um, you're looking at you know, anywhere between $150,000, $200,000 in loans. And most of the people in America, unfortunately, at the moment that get themselves into enormous student loan debt like that, they end up paying it off until they're, you know, 60, 70 years old. So that was not something that I was interested in that, at that time. And uh, I had a friend of mine who had been calling me and texting me, trying to get me to come to New Zealand to look at a business opportunity with him. And um, he happened to call one day in 2008 and convinced me to come to uh, New Zealand in 2009 and look at basically what was the business model for a franchise of wellness clinics in New Zealand. So we started that in 2009. And um, really, within three years, we had grown it from one little tiny shop in, in Ponsonby, which is uh, one of the main neighborhoods in Auckland, which is the cap. Well, it's not really the capital of New Zealand, but one of the biggest cities. And um, we grew it to eight locations in three short years. And so um, we had a, a lot of success quickly, which is great. 
except for I'd never done business before. This was really my first, this is my first experience with traditional business. And I, I learned very, very quickly that the difficulties of traditional business are tremendous. <laughs> so um, in a lot of ways, the, the business had really outgrown my own personal um, capacities at that time. And I found myself 30 pounds heavier, um, stressed out like crazy. Um, when I first met my, my wife, um, around that time, we, we dated for about a year. And um, I worked 363 days that year. So I got, well, I got Christmas Day and New Year's Day off. So only two days a year, essentially. I was working like 80 hours a week. And um, even though, you know, health and wellness were, was one of my biggest passions, you know, growing up as an athlete my whole life, um, fitness and health and wellness has been something that has been always very passionate for me. I realized that when you get into a traditional business and you have a brick and mortar, which is an actual physical location like I had, and you're trying to expand multiple locations, very quickly you go from being a practitioner to um, basically, you know, I was the COO of the company and found myself doing lots of things that I didn't anticipate doing or there wasn't the reason why I got into the business in the first place. So I was very, like I said, I was, I was overweight, I was overworked. And for the first three years of my traditional business, I made zero dollars. So all of the money that we made, even though the, the, the company was expanding, when you, when you expand a traditional business that's, that's location dependent, which means you have physical stores. Um, also with the health and wellness clinics, we had chiropractors, acupuncturists, massage therapists. So when you have a service-based business that also have locations, there comes rent, overhead, you have to pay your staff, you have to pay all of these things. So as your, as your company grows, so do your so do your payments. And so every month, essentially, after everything was paid, there wasn't any money to, for, me to, for me to bring home to myself. So when I got introduced to USANA in, uh, in 2013, it was really at a time when I was kind of at my wit's end. You know, I, I, the company was growing, so that was, that was exciting, but I was, I was not in a good space mentally or physically. Um, at that time. And so I was looking for, you know, other opportunities. And a friend of mine named uh, Regina, who was originally from Flores in Indonesia, was her and her husband, William, were one of our franchisees. And uh, at that time, she had a health transformation that really started this journey for me. So she went to the doctor one day, and she had been trying to get pregnant for a long time and she went to the doctor one day and the doctor said we have uh we have good news and we have bad news the good news is you're pregnant <laughs> um which was very exciting for her and, and for her um to be family um but the doctor said the the bad news is that you also have some pre-cervical cancer step three in your in your cervix and there's nothing that we can do about it because of the pregnancy at this time and so you're just going to have to carry the term of the pregnancy and, um, you know, we can readdress the situation, um, hopefully, you know, at the end of a successful pregnancy. So um, obviously that was a very difficult time. Um, a couple of weeks into the pregnancy, basically what happened was there's a certain chart where the baby's supposed to be growing as, as, the, as, the, as the pregnancy matures and the baby wasn't really growing. And um, the doctor basically said, look, you know, at this point, the baby's not really growing and your health is also really declining. So we're, we can give it, you know, a couple more weeks, but if nothing changes, then we have to look at potentially um, a termination of the pregnancy to protect you. And then obviously, you know, the, the, the baby's not growing. And so his recommendation at that time was, uh, again, she was one of our franchisees, so she was also working a lot. It was basically a startup business. And he told her, you know, no more work. You got to go home, bed rest, um, try to find some, some good nutritional supplements, um, you, know, you know, see some acupuncturists, do some alternative therapies, and try to find a way to get your body healthy enough that the baby will start growing again. 
And that's when we originally got introduced to USANA. And uh, after a, literally just a couple of weeks of taking the multivitamin, the fish oil, and uh, I think one of the other core products, the, maybe the magnesium calcium product, um, she went back to the doctor and the baby was growing again. And so he said, look, whatever you're doing, keep going. Uh, and then she went back for another checkup and the doctor said, look, good news, the baby's back exactly to where it's supposed to be on the graph and your, your own personal health has dramatically improved. So um, not only keep doing what you're doing, but you can now, you know, you can now go back to work. So that was amazing for, uh, for Regina. She worked all the way up until the day before she gave birth. And um, there was, she had a successful pregnancy with a healthy and beautiful young baby girl named Alexandra, who is now uh, five years old, lives with us here in Indonesia. And then she went back to the doctor for a, um, for a biopsy a couple months after the pregnancy. And she was also cleared from the, the, the step three pre-cervical um, cancer cells. So that was an incredible, it was an incredible health transformation at that time. And it was the first time that as a nutritionist who had not really used supplements, even as a collegiate soccer player, didn't really use supplements in my own, my own health, um, my own health practice or my own personal use as an athlete. So this was my first real, aside from some protein use, obviously as a, you know, as a soccer player, <coughs> but I hadn't. I hadn't really had much experience. And with all of my clients, basically, you know, we were using a food first um, approach or a food only approach essentially at that time, um, which we still do. You know, we still use a, uh, a whole food, primarily plant-based diet approach with all of our clients. Um, now with the addition of the supplementation to help fill in the gaps um, and the results you know, of, of basically using those with my clients for, for a while were amazing. So Regina's really the one, the, the catalyst that, that got it all started off. Um, and then after that, I just started using it, essentially trialing it with my customers. And it was undeniable that the results that I was getting using the supplements on our programs versus when we were not using supplements, um, there was a huge improvement, right? That was undeniable. And then uh, fast forward a couple of months, actually, my father got um, prostate cancer. And um, because of Regina's experience, I knew um, one thing that could, that could potentially help him. So I put him on six of the, of the core products that USANA has. And um, within nine months, not only had he healed from the, from the prostate cancer, but he was a chronic asthmatic for 20 years. He was on Ventolin, he was on steroids for, for his respiratory condition, along with really bad sinus issues, uh, sleep apnea. Um, those complete, were, completely went away. And to this day, off inhalers, off in steroids, off of all of those medications. And um, he also had um, osteoarthritis in two of his knees from, um, prior surgeries from playing American football when he was younger. So he's an American football player, two surgeries on the left knee, one surgery on the right knee. And he was 69 at that time, right? So, you know, getting advanced age a little bit. Um, but the, the osteoarthritis went away. The, the, the asthma went, went away. Okay. So I'm not saying that USANA can cure any of these conditions. Um, but in my experience, what I have noticed is that through he also changed his lifestyle, right? So we took, we, we put him on a low inflammatory diet and then gave him, the, gave him the supplements. So what we've seen is by making healthy lifestyle modifications in diet and exercise and adding supplements, um, the body can really heal itself. And so that was really the beginning of it for me. That was, those two experiences changed my mind completely. Um, and then after basically just recommending the supplements to my clients for about two years, um, I was I was ready to really make a switch. Like I said, if we if we go back to what I was saying before, um, as an entrepreneur at that time, I was starting to feel like um, the business was outgrowing me. I just wasn't having fun. My own personal health was declining. So at that time, it was really my wife was the one that had convinced me that I love working with people. I love you know coaching people one on one. 
um, and that USANA allowed me all of the benefits of a traditional business, um, but allowed me to really work with people one-on-one. -on -one. And more importantly, um, it gave me location independence. So as a, with the wellness clinics, I was, you know, I was, I was a, I was a owner operator, which meant I worked in the actual clinics themselves. So I was stuck in the clinics. Um, whereas with the USANA business, there's no office, there's no boss, right? And they handle all the back end of everything, right? So I got to do what I love doing, which is working with people without all the hassles of paying rent, paying staff, paying all the overheads and being stuck in one physical location. So the reason why my wife had really not, she really pushed me to do that was because she wanted to get married. And she's from India, I'm from America, we're living in New Zealand, I'm working 365 days a year, and or 363 days a year. And there was really no way for me to be able to remove myself from my, from my clinics long enough for us to either go to the US or go to India and get married. And at that point in time, I hadn't really spent much time with her family and she hadn't spent time with my family because I was working all the time. So I didn't really have a chance to really introduce her to my family. So anyway, long story short, um, she convinced me that USANA was a really great fit for all the things that I wanted to do. It was infinitely scalable. Um, it was location independent. So um, that was it. I made a transition from being a traditional business owner into, into, into network marketing, working with USANA. We flew to America, spent about three months with my family there, got married in America, flew to India, spent a couple of months with her family there. My family from America flew to India and um, we had a, a seven day wedding in India. And in 2016, early 2016, USANA announced that they were going to launch in Indonesia. And that's when we made a decision to go all in. Uh, we flew to Indonesia. I came here with my wife and her sister Deep. And we've been here, we've been in Indonesia for four years, growing our USANA business in a market where we didn't know anyone, we didn't know the language. Uh, we're starting from nothing. But the, the market in Indonesia, 200, 270,000 people, huge middle class. And the health and wellness industry right now is just exploding. So I could not deny that this was really the opportunity of a lifetime. So here I am today talking to you um, about the opportunity that USANA can open up for you regardless of where you are in your life, right? So you know my story, maybe some of it applies to you, maybe some of it doesn't, but the basic principles that allowed me to make this transition in my life, I wanna cover those with you today and go over some basic um, ideas about financial education and how, how, how business works and how if you're looking for, if you're, if you're someone that's really looking to become financially time, time freedom, and location independent so that you can sort of work anywhere in the world, then network marketing is something that I would really recommend that you take a dip, deeper look into um, because as far as I'm concerned, it's one of the biz, best business models on the planet for your average person to become a millionaire and to become an entrepreneur who is able to build uh, an online business. So with that said, today we're going to go into, um, you know, the wealth side of things. So, um, you know, for those of you who are employees, right, you can, you can continue to work a nine to five desk job. But the question is, is that what you really want? Right? So the question, even if you're not employed, the question I would, I would pose to you now is look at your life five years ago, 10 years ago, and look at your life now. And from a financial situation, if nothing has changed, then there's a good chance that nothing's gonna change in the future. So the question that you wanna ask yourself is, based on the goals that you have for yourself in one month, you know, or one year, three, three years, five years, 10 years, is what you're doing right now gonna get you what you want in the future? And if the answer to that is you're not sure, or maybe, or no, then this is an opportunity that could really make a huge difference for you. It made a huge difference for me and my family, and it could make a huge difference for you. So if you're, if you're someone that's looking for something that's exciting, that's dynamic, something that's a little bit outside of the norm, 
um, and can provide you time, uh, financial and, and location independence, then this could be an opportunity for you. So, and that, and, and really this opportunity caters to a lot of different types of individuals. So maybe you're somebody that um, has used the products already, or, you know, you just want to use this opportunity to help you get your products for free, right? To help make enough money to get your products paid for. Um, you know, you can, you can do that. Uh, you can, if you're somebody that's just looking for an additional, you know, two, three, hundred hundred dollars a week five hundred dollars a week a thousand extra dollars a week um you know this you can use this opportunity to do that um maybe you just want an extra five ten thousand dollars a year to get a new car or go on a go on a vacation um for you and your family then you can use usana to do that or if you're someone who's you know looking to replace your full-time income and potentially make you know, six figures and beyond um, over the next uh, couple of years, developing that type of income, and you're looking for, a, you know, a new career, um, then this could be an opportunity for you as well. I know in the U.S. they say that the average is about 70% of the population. Um, they hate their job, and they're, and they're looking to do something new. Uh, they call it the U economy, which is people who are starting to pick up uh, side hustles. And the, the, the percentage of Americans, at least, that are working on side hustles alongside of their job, trying to make that transition from their, from their job into, their, into a, a side hustle or a business is huge. And, so, and the reason for that is because people are burnt out. They're tired of having a boss. They're tired of being told when they can take a, a bathroom break or go on vacation. And they're quite frankly, they're tired of having their value dictated to them by another individual. So if that's you, this could also be the opportunity for you. So let's just take a quick look at today's reality, right? So for most people, you're looking at about five, three to five years of university. You're coming out at very average um, starting salaries, probably below average starting salaries. Um, you're in a situation where as an employee, like we said before, you're trading time for money, which means your value as an, as an employee is determined by somebody else and you're trading your hours for dollars. And as we'll go on, you'll learn that in, in any situation where your income is tied to the amount of hours that you can work, you will never achieve financial freedom, ever. Um, you're slaving away for your boss, you're being undervalued and overworked, um, and, and more importantly, you're building somebody else's business for them, right? So you're creating time freedom for someone else while you're slaving away at the job. Um, you're overworking for years before you get a, a, a pay rise. You're dealing with drama uh, in, in the office. Um, you don't have time freedom, right? On and on, right? This is the reality for most people. This is why they feel burnt out. This is why 70% of people hate their jobs. And it's why, as Les Brown says, if you look at the, the, the stats, for heart attacks, most of the, you know, there's a huge percentage of them happen on Monday morning when people are dreading to go back to the office. <clears throat> and, if, and if you're an Indonesian watching this, you're probably spending anywhere between one and three hours in the traffic commuting back and forth to the office every single, every single day. So this, you know, USANA is an opportunity that you can build from anywhere from your smartphone. Another huge thing to consider, and this is something that's, it's just a reality, right? Maybe it scares you, maybe it doesn't because you don't really see it coming yet. Um, but the, re the rise of automation is really an interesting and kind of scary proposition for a lot of people. Because if you just look at the, at the top two images here, the top three images, you're looking at basically Amazon, the business, business model of Amazon. So you can see in the stores in Amazon, there's no, there, there, what you don't see is people, right? You see jobs that are being taken over by robots, by uh, AI. And so the reality is between self-checkout, self-driving cars, these, these giant corporations which are laying off uh, thousands and thousands of people because they don't, you know, they don't have to pay robots you know it, from a business standpoint whether you like it or not it makes sense for a lot of these for a lot of these companies 
And if you look at um, Forbes, they've said that basically in the next 20 years, up to 50% of the jobs that are available right now will be taken over by robots and drones. Okay. And that is a huge deal because it used to be people didn't, they weren't entrepreneurs. They chose jobs because of stability, right? They wanted, they wanted the, the regular pay. They wanted uh, that retirement plan. They wanted stability. And now the reality is that if you're working, if you're trading your time for money and those pension plans are not there anymore, sorry to say, then actually this old model of thinking where jobs equal security is gone. And now actually being an employee can be one of the most dangerous, risky <coughs> propositions that are out there. So we'll talk today about why entrepreneurship, in my opinion, is a much better model for creating long-term stability and security for you and your family. So on top of that, in the next 10 years, they're looking at financial analysts, bank tellers, insurance workers, construction workers, teachers, personal trainers, doctors, taxi drivers, journalists, lawyers. A lot of these jobs are going to vanish. So not only are robots and drones going to be taking away a lot of these jobs, but they're going to cease to exist. So if you look at um, some of the jobs that are really prevalent now, even in, if you look in Indonesia, right, Zumba instructors, that job has exploded, right? It didn't even exist 10 years ago. So 10 years from now, if you're somebody that's in one of these very common um, jobs, there's a very, very, very good likelihood that that job will no longer exist, which means the people like you who are doing them are going to be without a job. And they're going to be dealing with, obviously, the, the outcome of that. So that's where entrepreneurship co comes in, right? So if, if some of you may have heard of a guy named Robert Kiyosaki, he wrote a book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad, which is one of the, it's, it's the highest selling book in personal finance in history. And in that book, he talks about something called the cash flow quadrant. So all people that are, that are working find themselves in, in, in one of four categories that are, that are out there. Uh, sorry, four quadrants. And we'll go over those quadrants briefly. So the first one is uh, employees, right? So you exchange your time and your effort for money. Okay, so if you don't get work, you don't get paid, okay? And as an employee, you work for money. And if you want more money, you have to either work more hours or you have to get another job. Unfortunately, that's a very real reality for a lot of people is they have to work overtime or they have to get another job just to pay for their, you know, for the, for the cost for their family. So that's uh, the first quadrant on the top left is employees. The second one is, is, is self-employed. So here um, you, you have somebody that gets out of uh, employment and they go into self-employment. So you work for yourself, right? But at the same time, so you have a little bit more freedom in terms of you don't have a boss. You can determine how much you're, you're worth per hour. Um, but here, uh, the S stands for either self-employed or solo entrepreneur or specialist. So here, you even have people like doctors, uh, lawyers. So people who maybe they work for themselves or they're a specialist, but they're, they're still, if they stop working, they stop getting paid, right? So their income is still tied to their time. They can make a lot of money, okay? And a lot of times they can, they can, they can become rich, but they can't build wealth over time because they're not really building an asset. And all of their income is dependent on what they do personally, right? So they're only getting paid on their own personal time. So a lot of times, for example, uh, personal trainers, um, chiropractors, physios, people that are in the sort of health and wellness industry, or even doctors are a great example, nurses, they'll move from working for a company, excuse me, to uh, working for themselves, right? They're tired of having a boss, so they work for themselves. But very quickly, they realize that actually they have to really work long and hard hours in order to be able to um, create the income that they want, and they're stuck doing it. 
I can't tell you how many personal trainers I talk to that, you know, they're happy not going to Gold's Gym or Celebrity Fitness anymore, but they have to take, you know, 15 clients a week and they're literally working sun up to sun down every single day um, and they don't have freedom in their life. And the reality is how long can your body put up under that amount of stress? So both E and S, you're, you're working for your money and if you stop working, you stop getting paid. The top, so now we switch to the right-hand side of the quadrant. So the top right-hand side of the quadrant is a business owner, okay? So here, you have a situation where you are either building a team or you're building a system. And here, you have something that they call leverage, which means as you build a team, what happens is you use their time and their energy to help you generate income, okay? So here you get other, it's called OPT, other people's time starts generating income for you. So now you have other people who are helping you generate income, therefore if something happens to you or you wanna take a step back from what you're doing, because you've laid that foundation, you've built that system, you've built that team, then even if you take a step back, the money can still keep coming in because you've built, you've built that system. Okay, so here um, you have the possibility for leverage and residual income. So we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, but here you have a business owner. So what we try to do is we try to get people who are ENS and make that transition over to the right-hand side of the quadrant and, and, and learn how to become a business owner or an entrepreneur um, like that. And then the last quadrant is I for an investors, right? These are people that have money working for them. Okay. This is, you know, you're in stock markets, you're in property investing. Um, you're, 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 you're basically investing your money into something that's then generating you more money. Okay. So a lot of the, a lot of the issue that people have when they're moving from the left to the right hand side of the quadrant, is that as an investor, for, you need that capital injection in the beginning in order to really make that money, right? So in property, you have to be able to buy the, the property in order to then get that residual or that re reoccurring income um, from either the stocks or the property or whatever. As a business owner, you know, your average um, franchise, I think in the US right now, it's anywhere between 60 and $250,000 to get that franchise, right? So there's a, there's a capital investment up front. So what we wanna to talk to you about today is how you can become an entrepreneur without all of the huge financial upfront um, uh, capital investment, right? So that's really one of the beauties of network marketing is that you can be in the B quadrant without the huge uh, payment up front. So as, as far as I can see, the, the possible paths to wealth creation are entrepreneurship, right? You can start a business, you can get into real estate, or you can do investing. Okay, so obviously that's not completely exhaustive for your ways that you can create wealth. And by wealth, I don't just mean making a lot of money. I mean being able to build um, wealth, where you're, you're building an asset that then pays you independent of your own time uh, investment. So that's what we mean by wealth as opposed to you know, becoming rich or just making money. So these are the three possible paths to uh, wealth creation. Um, <clears throat> so when it comes to creating wealth, okay, I, I'll, I'm gonna keep it simple. So there's three keys to um, becoming um, becoming wealthy in my mind. You become a business owner and then you build residual income, which means it's, it's, it's income that, that keeps coming in even uh, after doing the work one time. Uh, and then you also have leverage. So leverage is critical. So you're either building a team and you're using their time and their energy to make you money or you're leveraging off of money that you already have in order to make you more money. So these are the, really the keys. So when it comes to becoming a business owner, you know, it, it's basically impossible to create financial freedom or wealth 
in a nine to five job, right? You can make a lot of money, but it's not sustainable. We, we talked about earlier. If your income is dependent on one person and your time, you are not, you're never going to become, you're never going to become free because when you stop working, the income stop, stops coming in and it's only a matter of time before that time runs out. So one question that you can ask yourself now is if you stopped working today, how much time would you have before the money ran out? Right. And that's a real thing that people need to think about because, you know, you're one, you're one potentially accident or, you know, bad situation or just layoff from your job away from being in a really difficult financial situation for you and your family. So I think that it's extremely responsible and important, in my opinion, for people to really looking at entrepreneurship as a way of creating financial security for their families. So uh, becoming a business owner is definitely one of the pillars of wealth creation. The second one is something that I'm calling it residual income. Okay. Residual income um, is pa sometimes they call it passive or recurring in income. So it means you, you do something one time and you get paid multiple, you get paid multiple times. So uh, for example, you, you, Say you make a, you write a book or you create a music album or you do something where you put a lot of time and energy up front into that thing. And then after you create it, it pays you multiple times for the rest of your life, right? Those are called residual payments um, over time. Or you build an app or you do something that, that, will, that, that people will then, um, that you get paid a little bit of money or commission on. Um, each time a purchase is, is made. That's called uh, residual income. And wealthy people understand and employ the power of residual income. And one of the easiest ways that I've found to create residual income is through, uh, is through network marketing. So essentially, like you're looking at USANA, right? So the way that USANA creates residual income is we make some of the highest quality nutritional supplements in the world. And what that means is people take them uh, each month in order to optimize their, their health and well-being. And unlike, you know, 99.9% .9 of the products that are on the market, because of our manufacturing quality and the pharmaceutical grade of them and the, and the, the potency of our raw ingredients, because our products actually work tremendously well, people end up staying on them for a very long time and oftentimes for life. So what happens is obviously every customer that you have, they get attached to your account and every single time they buy a product, you get, you know, you get the commission from that. So you introduce somebody to USANA one time and then every time they get paid from now into the future, they, they, you get paid a commission, right? That's a residual payment. And then also, you know, as you introduce some of your friends or um, loved ones or business partners to USANA, the USANA business plan, right? The, the USANA vehicle, then obviously um, if they go on to build a team, then, then everybody, you know, all the volume that comes through their team and so on, um, you get, you get residuals from all of that as well, right? So you can, over time, you can really build a large organization and you can be in a situation where after about, you know, five years or so building a large organization, you can put yourself in a position where you could potentially um, have built an asset that will pay you for the rest of your life. So passive income does not mean, for example, that you do something and then you just sit on a beach and get paid, right? It is not like that. Network marketing, just like any, any profession, is hard work, right? You put in the time, you put in the, the energy, um, you put in that sweat equity in the beginning, and then you can build something that will pay you forever, right? That is really the value of what we're doing. There is no get-rich-quick schemes that are out there, okay? So in my opinion, you know, you're looking at you know, Bitcoin or in, in, in a lot of the Asian companies, uh, countries, if anybody says to you that you can make a lot of money really quickly without doing any work, you want to run in the opposite, opposite direction as fast as possible. You know, they have a lot of things here called money games, which is like traditional sort of multi-level marketing um, type business models fall into that. 
um, you want to stay away from that type of thing because any anytime you can make a lot of money really quickly, it means it's front loaded, which means you make that money in the beginning, but in the future, uh, it's it's very weak, and that is not what you want as an entrepreneur or as a business owner, right? As a as an entrepreneur, we know that we put our time and energy in in the beginning for long term. Uh, wealth creation. That's what the whole game of being a business owner and entrepreneurship about is about. It's a marathon. It's not a sprint. So you do not want to be buying into any of these sort of business models that you see online where you can, you know, you can make six figures in three months or six months or, you know, whatever the case may be. These are people that are over promising and they will under deliver. So what you want to be looking for is a stable business model that will allow you to incrementally build up your business that will create you long-term wealth. And then the last thing is leverage. I think this is probably the most important thing is uh, John Paul Getty said that he would rather make 1% of 100 people's en uh, efforts than 100% of my own. So if you're in a situation where you're trying to build financial freedom for yourself based on your own efforts, then you're in a losing game. You know, you're in a losing proposition. If you're a, uh, you know, if you're a personal trainer, somebody like that, it's very noble um, what you're doing. But if you think that you're going to become financially free just doing what you're doing, you're going to find out at some point, hopefully not too, not too far in the distant future, that that's a losing game. So you need something where you're required to build a team in order to really create financial, financial independence for yourself. So that's the type of thing that you really want to be looking for is something that allows you to create leverage, which means you use something else in order to create income for you. And that is what they call uh, working smarter, not harder, right? So you, 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 you learn the skills and then you train other people in those skills and then they train other people. And then ultimately, you know, you can sit on the beach after, after quite some time, um, but it's not passive. It's not passive income in that way. So leverage is really, if you, if you don't have leverage, you, you'll never have wealth. <clears throat> so again, become a business owner, an entrepreneur, um, build residual income, use leverage. Those are the keys to creating wealth. So um, this is Paul Zane Pilsner. He was, he's been uh, an economist in the U.S. for a long, long time. He was, he was one of the financial advisors for uh, Bill Clinton when he was the president of the U.S. He's, writ he's written a ton of highly influential books on, um, on e the economy and, and, and financial realities. And um, he actually wrote a book called The Next Millionaires, which was specifically about network marketing and uh, the health and wellness industry. And so that's sort of where USANA comes in is um, both network marketing, which is the business of the 21st century, and also the health and wellness industry, which is exploding. We really come together in that place. And what I love about this quote is he says, you can, with direct selling, the headaches of traditional business ownership are virtually eliminated. And this is the thing that I've been sort of screaming from the rooftops for a long time is this is, I, I got my health back. I got my sanity back and I'm so grateful for the industry of network marketing to giving me my life back, you know, giving me time freedom and location freedom and, and financial freedom for myself without all of the, the difficulties of being a traditional, um, being a traditional business owner. So that's really the beauty of uh, the benefits of network marketing. So now let's switch gears a little bit and talk about what is network marketing, right? Why, why has, um, why have I've been able to create the kind of lifestyle that I have at this point in a relatively short period of time? Um, how does network marketing work? So, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> so the basic, the basic principle is this you cut out the middleman. So if you look at, um, for example, our factory is in, is in Utah in the US. It's an FDA registered facility, one of the only nutritional companies in the world that have a manufacturing facility that is registered with the Food and Drug Administration in America. All of, our, all of the products that we, that we distribute globally 
are made in that facility and then distributed out from there. So what happens with network marketing is you go direct to consumer. That's why we call it direct selling. And it's called network marketing because you work through word of mouth, right? People use the product, they have a testimonial, they share it with the people that they love and care about, and then they, um, and then those people become consumers. And then when you share that information, then you get paid a commission. So um, the traditional model of traditional sales is you have a factory, which then <coughs> sends the products to a distributor, who then sells them to a, a, a wholesaler, who then sells them to a reseller, and then the consumer then goes to the, re the retailer and buys them there. So if you look just very quickly at GNC, for example, okay, or Blackmore's, huge companies, everybody's heard of them before, and they're also supplement companies like USANA. But the difference is, A, they use food grade manufacturing, which is a lower quality of manufacturing. They use, um, they use food grade man manufacturing, which means only 20% of what's on the label uh, it has to be in the actual product um, itself. And uh, as a consumer, what you're paying for is all of these stops in the way where there, people are clipping the ticket, right? So you're paying for the distributor and the wholesaler and the retailer. And you're not paying for the quality of the manufacturing or the quality of the raw ingredients. So in network marketing, what we do is we cut out all the middlemen. We go direct to consumer so that when our customers pay for our product, they know with a 100% guarantee that what they're investing their money into is the quality of the manufacturing and the quality of the raw ingredients. So they're spending their money on the quality of the product they're not spending their money on the advertising budget of the company that they're buying it from, or they're not paying for the, the retail store of the company that they're buying it from. So that's really the huge, the huge difference is we simplify the whole process. We cut out the people in the middle and we go direct to consumer. So for example, with USANA, you can have an ultra premium quality product at a very reasonable cost, same, same cost, as uh, like a GNC or a main retailer, sometimes lower, <clears throat> but the product quality is extreme, is much, much higher. And the reason why we can make an ultra premium product at a reasonable price is because we cut out the middleman. We have no advertising budget. We have no retail shops budget. We don't have any of that stuff, right? Smarter business model. You see a lot of companies in the world um, moving to this model as well, by the way, where you have these profit sharing. If you look at um, even Uber and um, Airbnb, a lot of these platforms, right, they're, they're giving power back to the consumer so that you can be a consumer of the product, but you can also make money by working with the company, right? And USANA, exact same thing. So how does network marketing work? Very, very simple, right? You get paid for sharing the things, the, the, the products that you love uh, with people that you love, okay? So this is not about sales. One of the biggest objections I get all the time from people is, I don't wanna sell a product, I'm not a salesperson, right? This is not a sales job, this is not a sales gig, right? Oftentimes when it comes to sales, you know, you're oftentimes you're selling a, a product to people that they don't actually, they don't know, they don't really need it. Right. So it feels a little bit weird. Um, whereas w w what we do is we share um, products with people that we love. It's the same thing that people do on Instagram every single day. Right. You go to the gym, selfie. You, you know, you try a new smoothie bowl, selfie. You, you, you take a picture of, you know, a new, <clears throat> um, restaurant that you just went to, or, you know, you take a picture of you and your girlfriends out at the, out at the movies, um, you know, saying, you know, I just went to go see, uh, you know, whatever the, the latest, the latest movie is out, right. You're promoting somebody else's business. We're doing that all of the time, but you're not getting paid a commission for that, right. With USANA, you share things that you actually products that you actually use and love. Um, and then you get paid a commission for that. And um, you can also obviously, you know, you can, you can build a network of your, of your friends and families or colleagues or, um, you know, other people and where you all do it together and you can, you can leverage off of that as well. 
So how it works is very, very simple. It's what you're already doing, right? You're already sharing on Instagram and, uh, and Facebook and Twitter and, and, and TikTok and all these other platforms. You're doing what you're already doing. You're just getting paid for it. Uh, this is really interesting stats, right? So they're saying 74% of consumers identify word of mouth as the key influencer in their purchasing decisions. And 92% of all consumers believe recommendations from friends and family over all forms of advertising. And if you look at millennials, they ranked word of mouth as the number one influencer in their purchasing decisions, period. And this is the way, this is why I said that this is the business of the 21st century, because it's smart to have a business model where you're talking to people on the platforms and in the ways that they're already talking and communicating with each other, right? With USANA, we're a direct selling company, right? Everything's, everything's done online. I never have to touch a product. My customers buy the product online. It goes directly to them. I get paid a commission. And all I'm doing is sharing with, you know, with people about what I already do, right? So the reality is people are not watching TV ads. They're not looking at billboards. They're not looking in magazines anymore. They want to know, do you use the product? Has it worked for you? What's your testimonial? And why should I use it? That's what they're listening for. You know, people are looking at influencers, but even, even the world of influencers is really dying down a little bit because people know that a lot of these influencers, they're just promoting brands and they're just, they've just become a billboard, you know? And in my opinion, uh, that's, <clears throat> it still works, but does it have integrity, right? We prefer to work with people who use our products, like our products, love our products. That way they're sharing their truth. They're sharing from a place of integrity. And that's what people want is they want to know from people that they know, like, and trust that these products actually work. That's why if you look at, look at USANA, unlike Herbalife and a lot of these other companies that pay their athletes huge amounts of money to say they use the product, um, when a lot of times these athletes do not even use that company's product, they just take the money, right? In USANA, we don't pay our athletes. We don't, we don't pay our athletes, right? Dr. Wentz from the very beginning said, if you have to pay people to take your product, then you're not making a very good product, right? It's better to make a bomb product that people take because they, because they want it in their body and then they share authentically from there. That's good business because it's sustainable. And then I love this part, man. The future of business is here. It's mobile businessing. It's mobile business. People spend almost their entire lives, whether you like it or not, on their smartphone. They're making decisions there. They're Googling things. They're looking at different apps. They're signing. You know, even this morning, I went to F45. How did I sign up for my class? Through the application, signed up, showed up. And when I was there, you know, the, the TV screens are telling me what to do. Uh, I make my payments through the apps. You know, everything is going through a mobile business. So if you want to unlock the power to run your entire business from anywhere in the world, now is the time. Get ahead of this global trend because the phone is going to start becoming everything. We're already seeing it. It's the television. It's the radio. It's the newspaper. It's everything. Um, if you listen to you know, Gary Vanderchuk, one of, the, one of the world's leading experts on, on smartphone technologies and, and leveraging that to create business and social media, it's, it's all about, it's all about the, the phone. And at the moment, it's all about social media but it's definitely all about the phone. In USANA, we have an application where you can send out videos, you can track your activity, you, there's, there's a customer connect where you can, you can manage all of your communications with your customers from there, you can see your commissions, you can literally manage everything from, from the smartphone. This is a smart way of, of doing business. And uh, you know, a smart, a side hustle, right? As they call it in the U economy, it can be as small as a few hours a week driving uh, Gojek or working with USANA and as big as uh, starting a business that scales to your main source of income. So this is what we do all of the time is we take people who have no experience in business. They just have a, they just have a, a they just have motivation or passion and they have a desire 
a strong desire to create freedom and they're willing to be coachable. These are people that we take from uh, janitors, lawyers, accountants, personal trainers, any walk of life, and we transition them from doing what they're doing into being full-time distributors and oftentimes, you know, making six, multiple six figures. They're, they're creating whatever financial freedom looks like for them. Maybe you only need fifty or sixty thousand dollars US a year in order to create freedom for yourself, then you can set that goal. And you know, maybe you can only do five, ten hours a week in the beginning. No problem. You put in five, ten hours a week, you scale, you know, you create whatever income it is that you want that you think is worth that amount of time. And then you invest a little bit more time as your as your in the return on your investment comes back. And eventually you can transition into doing USANA full time if that's what you want to do. Okay. We have a lot of doctors and people who were making a lot of money in their traditional job or their traditional business before who, you know, within five, sometimes 10 years, um, <clears throat> depending on how much time they put in, are able to make that transition completely. And now, you know, they've replaced what most people would consider very large incomes. Um, doing a little network marketing business on the side in the beginning. So that's really the key is it doesn't matter how busy you are, what you're doing at the moment, you can invest a couple hours a week and start growing that income over time. So the, that's really, in my opinion, why network marketing is the business of the 21st century and why I believe personally that it's the best opportunity for your average person who is not, all, all, not already a millionaire to um, become financially independent and um, you know, potentially become a millionaire in, in 10 years. Um, they say that 90, I think it's the stats, 94% of people that stay uh, fully committed and active in network marketing become a millionaire in 10 years. It's hard to, it's hard to argue with stats, right? Um, so I believe network marketing is a phenomenal business model. It's the way that we're already communicating and transacting in the world today. And then the question is, you know, what's the right company? And there's five basic principles. Um, are the products unique and consumable? Okay. That's where you get the residual. If you're selling watches, it's not a, it's not a consumable product. So it doesn't create that repeat, that repeat buying. So you want to make sure like a supplement, something like that, that you have that reoccurring payments. Um, part of a growing trend, does the company have stability, integrity, um, and credibility now so that, they will, so that they're not going to go anywhere long term? You know, you see so many of these um, different companies that they're, you know, they're started by the wrong person, they have the wrong philosophy, or it's a, it's a money, uh, money game scheme. And it's not, it's not sustainable, right? And then the business goes boom. And then you get, you break a lot of hearts. You know, when you, when you have a company that's very, very highly reputable and has been around for a long time, so they've already proven in the marketplace, then that's, that's the best way to go. <clears throat> Is there an opportunity to create leverage? And as always, you know, I'm sure you've heard people say it a thousand times. Um, timing is everything, right? Are you getting into the right industry at the right time to be able to take care, to be able to take advantage of the, the momentum of growth that's going to happen? Uh, this is why I, you know, part of the trending we just talked about a second ago is why I think that USANA is, it's been exploding for the last, you know, 26 years. But I believe that now is really a, a crucible moment for for USANA and network marketing in, in companies in this in the health and wellness space, because there is a global awareness around health and wellness. People now know more than ever that the medical industry is failing people all over the world. Even though you know the 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 medicines that we have are becoming more and more advanced, and the technology is much more more advanced. A we're the sickest that we've ever been as a human, as a human population. And, you know, because of the way that a lot of these corporate, you know, these insurance companies are beholden to um, pharmaceutical companies and things like that, even your doctors are beholden to pharmaceutical companies. They get paid commissions for recommending drugs. Um, you're in a situation where the health industry has become a sickness industry. 
they're just managing symptoms, they're just managing sickness, and the focus is not on creating well-being and health. It's around managing. Um, it's around managing sickness. And although I'm not saying that the medical industry is all bad, I'm not saying that at all. Um, I've had my life saved by it. I've had a lot of family members' lives saved by doctors and, and, and hospitals and medical institutions. There is a massive need for um, those types of situ those those types of um, interventions medically. Um, but when it's acute, right, when it, when it becomes a situation where it's, you know, life or death, things like that, that is a great time to use that, that industry. Um, but when it comes to um, health, health prevention, the prevention of disease and the maintenance of well-being, that's where your, your nutrition and your lifestyle changes are what is going to make the biggest difference. And if you just look at Instagram, you look at social media, um, people are snapping gyms at, at, at gyms. I'm sorry, they're snapping selfies at gyms, at outdoor boot camps, at CrossFit gyms, at functional training types of things like crazy. So even, even people are moving out of the gyms and in, in doing you know, things outside and boot camps, things like that. So the increased awareness around health, the importance of health, and the importance of fitness in order to create well-being is really growing globally and if you're here in indonesia right now is just it's just the tip of the iceberg it is going to absolutely explode here and so it's a phenomenal opportunity um obviously the other flip side of that coin is the amount of degenerative disease is insane so you know in india indonesia a lot of these aging countries you're looking at like 60 percent of the entire population that's 60 years and older has diabetes you know something that that didn't even exist in anyone younger than like 30 years old uh 10 20 years ago we're now getting you know now we're getting uh eight ten teenagers um that are developing you know early onset diabetes and they call diabetes the mother of all diseases because anytime that you you have diabetes you're 10 times more at risk for the other leading causes, uh, the other main, <coughs> excuse me, degenerative diseases, cancer, stroke, heart disease, respiratory issues. Okay, so it's really, it's a difficult situation, right? If you look at the aging population, rising cost of healthcare, this is really a huge trend that's happening at the moment. And if you add on to that, the digital marketing trend and the social media trend, that's where USANA really comes together. And I believe personally, because of the quality of our products and because of this, our business plan, this is a perfect storm for us. It's really a phenomenal opportunity. Uh, we've been rated the best choice, distributor choice in, in network marketing or the MLM magazine for, um, <clears throat> this is, says 16, but it's actually 19 consecutive years. Um, so, and the timing, that, you know, like we talked about it before, we have unique consumable products already. We talked about that. Um, we, the, the company, USANA, has been around for 26 years. We're publicly traded on the New York Stock Exchange. We're, we're almost at multiple billion dollar uh, company. Um, we've, been, we've been rated, I think, nine times for, um, for most ethical um, direct selling company or number 21 in the, in the DSA, the direct selling industry worldwide. Um, <clears throat> and so the company itself has phenomenal integrity. If you just go to YouTube or uh, um, Yahoo finance, look up USANA, you go, you'll see all of the awards that we've won um, for integrity and growth. Um, we're, we're constantly, constantly growing. So anyway, the, if you know, if you've gotten to this point, you, the low startup costs, right? Usually somewhere around a thousand bucks or less to get into the, to get into the opportunity. You have unlimited growth potential because you can build a team and your teams can build teams and your, and those teams can build teams and there's no levels. Unlike in multi-level marketing companies, there's no levels in USANA. So if, if you build extremely deeply, uh, you get paid all the way, all the way down. Uh, we have no sales targets. Um, so we've removed all of those things that a lot of people don't like about multi-level marketing, um, but we've retained 
the, the ability to create that team system, which allows you to get that leveraged residual income. So even in network marketing, um, just like network marketing is, a, and is, is, is better, in my opinion, than traditional business because you get all the benefits without all the hassle, um, USANA's style of our business plan and the network marketing model, you get all the benefits from multi-level marketing, but without the hassle, right? So that's, again, the beauty uh, uh, of what we're doing. So <clears throat> you come in, you have an infinite growth potential. All you do is follow our system. You work with your team. And if you're in a country that allows you to um, get tax advantages, then, you know, this is a phenomenal opportunity um, in and of itself. You know, my, my, I know my wife, her first two years in New Zealand, she didn't make uh, very much money from USANA in terms of checks because she was a full-time teacher. So she was just building her business at that time. But I think the first year she got 6,000, second year she got $9,000 back on her tax returns, right? So that's, that's, that pays for the business um, just like that up front. So phenomenal opportunities for entrepreneurs and tax advantages. Um, and then you just follow, you follow our system. <clears throat> um, and then you can see here, our, our system is called STI Unleashed, Success Team International. Um, and what this is, it's a global community of wellness entrepreneurs that are coming together to grow this business as a community. And um, our system, STI, is an entrepreneurial training program. So this is a program that we've put together that helps teach you the, teach you the mindset and the skill set of what it takes to be a successful entrepreneur. So, you know, maybe your concern is, well, I've never done business before. I don't know how to do this. I'm not a salesperson. All that stuff. You don't have to worry about that because you have a team of people who are just like you, who are going to work with you. And we're going to teach you, we're going to hold you by the hand and take you every step of the way and teach you all of the skills, communication, relationship building, all of those things um, to help you create your, your, own, your own business. So you're, you're, you're in business by or for yourself, right? You're an independent distributor, but you're not in business by yourself, right? You're always in business with a group of other individuals. Uh, we have local, we have local training. So you can see here, this is a picture of me and my mentor, William, doing a team training in our, uh, in our office here in Indonesia. And so we have a morning call every day at 7am where we teach people about vision setting, goal setting, creating your why, um, teaching people about the products, about the company. Um, the mindset of entrepreneurship, the skills of being a leader. So we do that six days a week. We have a morning call. And then a couple of times a week, we have trainings in the office. So we have a complete done for your training. It's all, by the way, on Zoom, on, on not Skype, on Zoom, on Facebook Live. So uh, we can also do everything online as well. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world. Um, you can follow our training system. We have a website. All the videos that we do are uploaded onto the website. So you have a complete done for you training system that's gonna take you from A to Z and help you go from wherever you are now to where you, where you wanna be with a lot of personal growth in between. Uh, we also have national events. So a couple of times a year, the USANA shells out an amazing amount of uh, money in my opinion to put on phenomenal live events where we have um, international um, music stars, public speakers, some of the biggest names in the world, Tony Robbins, Pitbull, Gary V, John Maxwell, uh, Marie Forleo, uh, I'm not sure if Marie Forleo is here, uh, Mel Robbins, the author of the, the, five, set rule, the five Second Rule, uh, Darren Hardy, the author of tons of books, they come and they speak at our events. You know, we get the creme de la creme when it comes to training our associates for um, <coughs> how to be successful entrepreneurs. And then we also have an, an international event and in, there's one in Korea this year. Um, and then there's also one in Utah every year. That's our, that's our global convention is in Utah in America and our Asia Pacific convention is in Korea. So that is, 
between 10 and, and 15,000 associates that come from all over the world or all over Asia. They get together and they get there to learn and celebrate um, what it means to be uh, a distributor for USANA and to learn all of the new uh, science and technology that's coming back, that's coming out all of the time to help us stay ahead of the trends. Now, you also get a personal coach, okay? So I think this is also a critical element. You get a mentor in this business. I personally believe that having a high quality mentor that knows what you want and can help deal help you deal with a lot of the ups and downs that come with entrepreneurship and can have someone that's already done it that can help guide you even if it's you know if it's crossfit or it's or if it's basketball or it's badminton it doesn't matter what you're doing in life um, a, a mentor is critical and so every distributor that comes in we make sure that you get your own personal coach your own personal mentor along with the system along with the team that you can plug into to help you become successful and then we have a proven system. We have you know, thousands of associates from all over the world. Our team, SDI, is the biggest team in, in, in USANA globally. Uh, my personal uh, mentors in the business, Bill and Jenny Huang, are the number one income earners in all of USANA. Um, so we have a proven system that has God knows how many, um, you know, six, multiple six-figure million-dollar earners. Um, we have a proven system. If you come in, follow your coach, follow the system, you're going to have success. Uh, and then it's all on the job training. Okay. So you're going to, you know, again, with your mentor, you come in, you learn by doing, you learn by doing, and you're earning while you're learning, right? So un unlike going to school or a lot of other uh, apprentice types situations, you know, you're going to get on the job training from people who have had success doing what you're already doing, and you're also gonna earn money while you're going through that, that process as well. So when you start in this, in this business, you're, you're in health will improve, you're gonna be able to create passive income, and you're gonna be able to create freedom for yourself, and you can, you know, at some point in time, you can fire your boss. So how it works, so if all of that stuff sounds good and you're inspired by what you, by what you hear here today, then um, this is how it works. You open up your own business center, okay, so sort of like an online franchise, and you get paid based on the movement of the products that come through your online business. So you open those businesses, and then along with the guidance of the mentor, you start sharing USANA. Um, you know, USANA's compensation plan, you're gonna earn weekly commissions um, based on the volume that comes through your business. And, um, you know, you just have to be coachable, be teachable, you know, leverage the income that you make through, USA, through your USANA business in a lot of different ways, you know, but the most important thing is come in uh, with a little bit of humility, what, what we call an empty cup, you know, pour out your cup and come with a beginner's mind and follow the proven system and you will have success in this, in this process. <clears throat> So that's it, you know. So for those of you who uh, like what you hear, please go to the person who invited, who sent this video to you or invited you to this webinar and let them know that um, you're either a number one, which you're, means you're ready to get started, or you're a number two, which means you're interested, but you need more information or, you know, uh, whatever the case may be. Um, but my invitation to you is remember, you know, you have goals and dreams that you want for, for yourself and, and your life. And you really wanna ask yourself, is, is what you're doing right now or what you've done in the past um, going to get you to where you wanna be? And if not, then this is a virtually risk-free, um, you know, infinite growth potential that could really give you uh, the life of your dreams, no kidding. Uh, I know that probably might sound cliche, but you know, I, I had no intention to be honest, of doing USANA as a business when I first started. Uh, Regina had her breakthrough, my dad had his breakthrough, and I just wanted to give you know, the products to my, my clients that I, dare, I, that I care deeply about. And over time, it evolved, and you know, here I am. I was able to leave my traditional business and, and, and do USANA full time. So I had no idea that, that's where I, that this is where I'd be um, five years ago, but here I am. So my invitation to you is 
take this seriously. This is an opportunity that can change your life if you allow it. So God bless you. Hope that you found something today that inspired you. And I hope to personally meet you sometime in the future. So thank you so much for being here today and um, see you soon.